slight problem still for that's it they're off they're racing for the beverly racecourse sculpture trail nursery handicap stakes riverview laura way well so too naval flight to the inside also showing some speed in the noseband is regal solitaire out wide macarons away very well royal blue yellow hoop hooped cap and wide of that one's a fear is prominent the white with the black seams and a red cap tucked in behind that one is the uh, space ninja further towards the far side master eli is followed through over there by if only they could talk swiftly's in the mix behind the pace they're followed through by carnaby princess sergeant mayor is well back in the field also well back is damier as they continue their journey up the hill back inside the final two furlongs far side naval flight kicks on by a length master eli gets through to the inside and the cheek pieces near side macaron trying to pick up also near side zafir's trying to pick them up as well and they're followed behind by charlie mason who's trying to finish so too is swiftly it's macaron who's hit the front for the rob burrow racing club as they come back inside the final half macaron by a length Zafir giving chase, Charlie Mason to the far side, but Macaron will go on to score. Charlie Mason for second, Zafir was behind those. They were followed by Space Ninja and Swiftly, who went past together for fourth. Paul Hannigan wins on Macaron. Paul Hannigan, I've seen you win a lot of big races. Haven't seen you punch the air quite as you did then. That must have meant a lot to you. That meant a lot, yeah. I think as well, we, 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 me and Phil, you know, the, the CEO has been putting ourselves under a lot of pressure you know, trying to get the horses. And um, this caught my eye one day. And I thought, yeah, let's try this one. And just, it's, that was a special feeling. It really was, you know, everyone knows Rob, you know, with the MND situation. And um, I'm actually speechless, you know, it means that much. So chuffed. You're speaking very evocatively. It's a bloody obvious question from me but why has this fella inspired you so much and lots of other people so much in your professional and in your personal life as well well I think mainly me being from Warrington and brought up in rugby league especially through my parents you know we've, we've known we've known of Rob uh, a long time and I, I was blessed to meet him many years ago and uh, he was you know still is so knowledgeable about his racing and it took me aback a bit. So straight away I thought, this is an absolute legend of a guy. And he's just had so much bad luck, I'm afraid, with, with, with MND. But saying that, he's been an inspiration to me and, and many more. Last question, what did you say to him? What was the first thing you said to him when you jumped off just now? Uh, do you know what, I can't really. <laughs> I, think, I think I said something in the lines of, it's about time I pulled my finger out. <laughs> So well, well done. done that. Great thank story. You. Well done. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.